Hey, what is up you guys? Ty here again and today just got something from Lazada which I'm going to unbox for you right now. This is an external flash unit for a Sony a6300 which is the camera that I'm using right now. Godox D3350S if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, and I got this from Lazada 1111 sale which got me like about 40% discount. The original price is 5,000 pesos, but I just got it for 3,200, something like that. I'm just gonna post the, the link at the description box below. Please do check it out. And the original price as well, looks like that. Package is in and came in with all these stuff right here. And I did cut the upper part, so it would be easy for me with the video as well. So what's gonna happen right now is we're gonna put it out I'm just going to show it to you. It comes with this uh, package right here. And yeah, looks like that. It wasn't packed pretty well. It was shipped from China. I'm not pretty sure if it's really from China, but it says it's from China. There was one like this, which would be shipping from the same country that I'm in, which is Philippines, but it would cost me double the price so i opted to get this from sort of like a seller from china for a cheaper price and came in right here not pretty sure what's inside so let's check it out the reason i'm not saying pretty sure because i had a you know kind of like a bad experience before with the shipping so let me check if it is going to be exactly the product that we actually ordered so we have this receipt right here I guess it's going to be under my name. Yeah, it says 3,372.92 pesos. Again, Philippine peso. I'm from the Philippines. And TT350S Godox, that's the unit number. It says from Aperture Trading Corporation, Quezon City. All right, so there you go. Uh, it's not really from China. And I was actually wondering why the shipping cost was only 50 pesos additional charge. So tracing it from here, it says from Aperture Trading at Lescana Street in Quezon City, which is from the Philippines as well. All right. So again, here's the, the, the unit, the flash unit. It looks like that. I hope you can see it on the camera because this is kind of like a different unboxing setup that I'm doing right now before. If you would check out my videos, everything is laid out on the table right here. But I'm, you know, kind of just trying to make a change and switch off to a different kind of unboxing feel, maybe. It says, Think Light Electronic Camera Flash right in here. CSS Godox TT350S. Again, it's a TTL through the lens. Uh, metering system so it's an automatic flash you could also set this to manual so again I'm gonna be opening that up oh as I always do I kind of like do a tour around the box as I name it so let me check out the top part it's just an orange uh, color right in there nothing and on the right side you get to have your barcode maybe it's going to lead you to the website or maybe some software download which would be just kind of like a, a link maybe for this for their site and again it says ttl automatic flash master and slave function 2.4 gigahertz wireless transmission and again it's one eight thousand of a second high speed flash sync let me just read all these for you it says ttl um get an lcd yeah an orange one yeah you can do multi-flash you have a zoom function from 24 to 105 Everything is kind of classic in here with maybe uh, a manual flash that you might have. Let me just open that up for you. So what you're going to get off the box is two pieces. A manual right here. Yeah, that's your manual. And nothing much, just instructions. If you're familiar with the flash already, you might not want to read this, but if you're new to uh, a TTL flash, a through the lens ETTL flash. You might want to read on this because it's really going to help you out. But I'm not sure as to how helpful this manual would be, but it looks like it's Chinese. So let me just check if there's an English. Yeah, you get a Chinese and then you get an English. So that's pretty nice. 
And here is your flash. Take a look at the size right there. With the pouch, it's just uh, kind of like a size just fits my hand perfectly like that. So that means this is a smaller uh, form factor compared to the older flash that we actually have had before. And to check it out, yeah, it's really, really small. Sort of like maybe 40%, maybe 35% lesser than the flash. I mean, the, the form factor of the older flash that you might see in the market. And you have your silica gel right in there. Let me just put it back. And you have your stand right here, your cold shoe mount, which would make you connect it right here. In case you're doing like a, a multi-flash, you can just put it on the table, let it stand like this. But let me just show it again to you right there. One cool thing about this, compared to my other flash, uh, flash guns or manual flashes, they don't have something that protects the cold shoe. I mean a hot shoe. So it just, I don't know how, how do you remove this? Oh, okay. Yeah, so you screw it down like that and just pull it off pretty tight like that twist it and just pull this off and it would reveal your mount and you just have to connect it just like that and screw it back on again so it will be tight and just put it off i mean put it on top of your table and you can do wireless triggering with this if you have like a, a, a ttl trigger as well let me show you more of the flash right here you say flash diffuser you get this for free there are some flash guns in there out in the market which you would get one like this separately so this one you you have that as a set already and right here you have something that you can pull out like that this top part right here is your wide angle diffuser or your wide spread sort of thing uh, in case you're just uh, I mean you're, you're doing a group shot and you want your flash or you want the light to spread out you just pull this off right here and put it on top and that would help out and the other one which would be the white one that will be your catch light panel right here you guys would add a catch light onto your subject and put it back on again how small is it as i'm saying probably i don't have my flash gun with me because it's with my friend the young new and then the other manual flash that i have it will probably be around 65 percent or 70 percent the form factor of a normal flash right here would be your lcd and you have your controls right in here. You have your mode, zoom, sync, slave. And you have your power button right in here. And you also have your, your uh, I forgot the exact term, but I maybe a test fire button right in here. Something that gives you an angle. Bends down like that. Now it bends down about 45 degrees like that. And you also have those click and sound, which would let you know that uh, you you're at an angle already and it also has its markers right in here. It says 30 45 degrees probably 60 degrees and 75 on the side right here. You just pull it off And you have your Compartment for the battery what I like about this flash is that it would only take in two AA batteries Compared to the older flash guns, may it be a TTL or may it be a manual flash, it would always require four AA batteries. But this flash right here would only require two. And the question with that is, would it be enough to power the flash? What will be the guide number? I haven't checked the guide number on this, but I'm just going to you know, add it on the video because I really didn't check. The reason I bought this because of its form factor and the idea that it would only take in two AA batteries. 
And remember, you don't really use your flash to a maximum of 1 100 for the power, if I'm not mistaken, because it's really going to burn your bulb. So sometimes I just use 164, 1 128, 132, 1 maybe 164 sometimes, or a maximum of 132, maybe 18 sometimes, but not really 1 100 or 1 1, right? So thinking so that it would really not need that much power I hope so that it will be enough to to power the, uh, the bulb right here and I also hope that the power of I mean the, the flash power of this would be enough quite close comparable to those that would take in four AA batteries I'm thinking about the power to, I mean, the draw ratio of the power to the flash, or to the flash bulb. And again, um, checking out, I have a mode button right here, I have a zoom button, I have a sync button, a slave, and then a set right in here, and then a power button. And just something that says TT350S right in there. And you also have something that says lock right in here. I would want to demo out but I couldn't because I'm using both of my cameras connected to, I mean, both of the cameras I'm using right now as of, as of the moment filming this unboxing video. So again, that's pretty much just a quick unboxing and some, somehow like a quick hands-on review of the TT350. Uh, sorry if I may not have mentioned the weight. Pretty light, really. Maybe around 35% of the original weight of a classic manual and TTL flash really light again it fits your mirrorless cameras what I'm going to be using on this is a Sony a6300 again thanks so much for watching and please do subscribe to our channel I mean to my channel um, maybe in the coming days I'd be making a review on this sort of like do a test please do check that out thanks so much for watching and see you back